If you're looking to boost your Mutt team or make some money by selling coins, check out MobileMaddenCoins.com. Use code CLICKWID at checkout for a 10% discount. Hey, what is going on guys? Clickwood here back again, bringing you guys another Madden 16 Ultimate Team video. And guys, today what we're going to be actually talking about is the equalizer factor, as some people are calling it. But uh, in reality, this is actually about a FIFA video that another YouTuber made named Righteous Onyx. I believe I'm pronouncing that correctly. But he basically made a video showing that the chemistry upgrades that you get in FIFA, which is equivalent to the Madden style upgrades are not actually working on the players that weren't day one players in the game. So, like, the base gold cards, the base elite cards in Madden, like, that would be the equivalent. So, um, basically, he showed that, and I'm going to leave a link to that video in the description below so you guys can go over there and check it out. But essentially what it did is it showed that these players aren't getting the right chemistry upgrades or aren't getting a chemistry upgrade at all. Uh, in some cases, we might be able to see that they're getting some sort of an upgrade, but, it, but for sure, we're definitely seeing it in a lot of areas where they're not. Not. In fact, it looks like their up attributes aren't changing at all. So basically what that means is that the players that came out after day one, which are supposed to be upgrades of the day one players, like let's say, for example, Ronaldo got a, a base card and then he got an upgraded like uh, a team of the week card, for example. I know that's not what they have in FIFA, but just as an example, right? Uh, he gets a team of the week card. Well, that team of the week card actually might be worse than the actual base card because of the chemistry upgrades that the base card would get. And actually, guys, the chemistry is very apparent in FIFA. It's not like Madden where you can you can barely tell. Um, although I will say, guys, by the way, we'll talk about this at the end, but you can definitely see the chemistry upgrades in Madden. So uh, anyway, though, this is really a bad thing in FIFA because it's showing that there really is no difference between the base players and a lot of the upgraded players, or at least the ones that are relatively close. So like, for example, if a player went from an 80 overall to an 82 overall or an 83 or an 84 overall, even he might not play any better. In fact, he might play worse. And that's really terrible, of course, because people are spending hundreds, if not thousands of dollars opening packs in that game to try and get those limited edition players that are actually going to play worse for them than the original card because the game is essentially lying to them. Now, we can actually see this in, uh, like I said, the, the smaller upgraded players. So there are cases, of course, where like a, a team of the year card or something would be worth an upgrade still. So like, let's say a 90 overall would still probably play better than an 80 overall base card, even with the chemistry upgrades, just because the attributes are so much better to begin with. But Still, it, it's such a substantial difference. Like you really, really have to uh, take a look at that because uh, that's really the only time when it's worth it is when it's such a huge upgrade, like a 10 overall upgrade. Kind of crazy. So uh, again, guys, you're you're definitely going to want to take a look at this video because I think it's very interesting. Now, what I will say is that there are a lot of people who are worried that this is happening in Madden. I don't think it's happening in Madden. Um, and I would like to go in and actually prove it, and maybe there will be a way that I can prove it at some point. Unfortunately, most of the chemistry or the style upgrades in Madden are th for things like you know run blocking and pass blocking, which we can't necessarily see on the field. It's not like the speed video where I did where you could actually see the difference of the players running side by side to one another, and you can actually see the speed difference. So unfortunately, right now, there really isn't anything that gives us uh, an obvious example of it. But what I will say is that there have been other videos that people have made where it shows that the, that those upgrades tend to work. So I'm not as worried about it for Madden. But what I will say is that, again, this looks really bad on EA as a company because Basically, what they're doing is they're selling people lies with these cards, whether they're doing it intentionally or not. And there's some debate on that. I, I don't know why they would do it intentionally. Um, it seems kind of weird because there's no real benefit in them not having upgraded cards. It's not like it costs them anything to make the cards play better. I mean, it's like in Madden right now, basically everybody's getting a 99 overall because it doesn't matter. You know, like EA doesn't care if all the cards are 99 overall. So I don't see any reason why they would be doing it on purpose, but still this looks really, really terrible for them as a company. So I, I mean, again, I don't think it's happening for Madden, but 
it really does look bad for them. Just keep that in mind, guys. There are two different studios as well. It's not like the guys that make FIFA also make Madden, although EA is still the, the parent company. It's a different studio, so they're not the same people. But anyways, guys, uh, I want to hear what you guys have to say about this. Is this something you're concerned about? What do you think about it? Let me know in the comments section below. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, do me a quick favor. Drop that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you're new, and I will talk to you guys again soon.